What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just got off a plane so I literally cannot hear in this ear still. Um, so if I'm talking what up. Uh, not my hair getting stuck to my eyelash. Um but anyways, I was supposed to vlog um when I got to the airport in Houston, but I fucking could not find parking. So I ended up just being like right on time for my flight, so I didn't have time. Excuse me. But anyways, all I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing in my other video. Oh well. But um Anyways, I am in Miami. So I think in the video that I was wearing this actually, where I was talking about my BBL complications or whatever. So I ended up getting on the phone with him the next day with Dr. Miami. And um, it ended up, he says that it's not fat necrosis because it's not supposed to be painful or uncomfortable or stinging. Cause that's what I feel. I feel like, I don't know, like stinging or like needles. Um, so he was just like, no, I need to see you like ASAP. Like, I want to see what's going on because I don't know what, what that is. So I was like, okay, so I'm here and I see him tomorrow at noon and I leave tomorrow too. So hopefully it's just like, a, I mean, I know he probably can't do anything about it anyways, like tomorrow. But he, he just wants to know what it is, like examine me and all that. So hopefully it's nothing too bad. Um, the stinging did go away, but now it's like sore, like as if I work out or something. But bitch, I don't work out. And that's why I got to be BBL in the first place. But yeah, so I'm here in Miami. I got myself. I'm one deep, you know, obviously. Just a regular little hotel well it wasn't regular price but whatever um but yeah so i'm here i just got here hopefully i can hear in the next hour because this shit is annoying like it only happens i don't have no problems going up every time i land is when my ears get so like sore and like now i can't and i always can't hear so i can't hear still out of this one but anyways, um, I'm about to just settle in, um, order some food, watch some TV, and that's it. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm going to go. I'm like 10 minutes away from his office, so we'll see what happens. Um, I might come back and eat on here. I don't know yet. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I'm in Miami to see my doctor, and I'm going to vlog everything, and I'm going to let y'all know what's going on. Oops. Because um, I know a lot of people are, like, asking, so what happened, what happened, or whatever, but... Yeah. So, I'll come back later. Okay, so it's the next morning. I had to put y'all on the window, because the lighting over there where I was eating was really bad. And I'm not wearing, like, makeup, so you can see my eye bag really bad. Anyway, so I ordered some Dunkin' Donuts. It's, like... 11 something i was supposed to be checking out but the office is like 10 minutes dr miami's office is like 10 minutes away from here so i'm gonna leave at like 11 45 ish or so because he told me to be there right now so yeah and then um let's see how long i'm there see what happens and then from straight from there i'm gonna take uber to the airport i might be a little too early for my flight but I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm alone. I'm not going to go anywhere. So I might just, like, sit down at the airport at a restaurant and just eat. I don't know. But, yeah. So hopefully, um, it's nothing too bad. Um, I'm, maybe y'all can see for me. Y'all can't see. Y'all can only, you can only see the lumps that I'm talking about, like, when I'm, like, in underwear or something. But maybe, no, y'all for sure can't see it. Maybe I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not, but um, yesterday I was like feeling like all around there and like I felt some other stuff and I'm just like really scared. Um, like I feel something up here now, like, oh, right there. Oh, uh, that feels, oh my God. It literally feels like it's a little hard right there, like a little hard bump. I don't know, but I'm going to tell him all this. And he's going to give me an exam or whatever, see what's going on and see what the next step is. Um, 
excuse me but yeah but um so yeah so i'm gonna eat and then go straight to the dr miami's office and then from there go to the airport and then um i'll probably just when i'm eating at the restaurant get back on here and let y'all know what happened and what the results are what the fuck i have to do about this so yeah well, my hair feel long oh my hair i haven't dyed it in like I don't I think it was like Thanksgiving in November, sometime in November. Like I am desperately in need to fix this. Like and I need a haircut. But anyways, <laughs> I'm about to finish my food. I got a bagel, um, a chocolate donut, iced coffee, and a water. So I'm gonna eat that and then I already packed up my stuff. This is all I brought because I was just here one night. So yeah, so I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna head to the office and then I will get back on here when I'm at the airport. for like three days but anywho so basically what happened was oh, i look like shit um he saw me or whatever i went to his office he saw me he um he started feeling on him and he was like um basically what happened was some of the fat liquefied so he um he aspirated it aspirated it with a needle right here um, he put the, he put, he put, um, what's it called, anesthesia in first, numbed me, and then, um, stuck a different needle in, and, like, as he was pulling it out, like, literally, it looked like fucking pus started coming out, but it was liquefied fat. Um, but yeah, so he did it on this side, I'm still a little sore, I was super sore that night and the next day, like, that pain was horrible. He didn't do this side because he said that, ooh. I can feel it. He didn't do this like he said it was too small, but that over time it'll go away. But yeah, so that's what happened. He just yeah, like I don't really feel it anymore. It's bruised and swollen right there. But yeah, so that's what happened. Um it was fat necrosis. Um so and then the fat had liquefied and that's why there was lumps or whatever. But basically I'm gonna be okay. But um yeah um so that's pretty much it um it's something that you can't really i learned that it's something you can't really prevent and it's not my fault it's not his fault because usually um what is your fault is when you get it here because that's where you get your massages at um so yeah it's just something that happens so now i'm just kind of like questioning like do i really want to go for round two because now obviously i'm prone to get fat necrosis so I don't know, but he said if I wanted to to see him six months after I delivered my baby. So yeah, so that's what happened. But yeah, I know I look like shit, and I don't really don't give a fuck what y'all have to say. But um, yeah, so I kind of want to give y'all like what I look like. So today is um February thirteenth. So I am November, December, January. I'm about to be four months post off on the twenty second. Um, and I'm also 15 with weeks pregnant, 15 and like five days pregnant. So my stomach is out of there. Like this is out of there. The lipo I got here was just, it's done. But um, so this is, I don't know if you can still see, like, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what I look like. 
four almost four months post-op and 15 weeks pregnant at the same time um but yeah so that was it um i just wanted to vlog this because i wonder i don't know i know before y'all start talking shit i know i have broken out but um what was i finna say oh like i feel like because before i went to go see my doctor i kept researching on youtube fat necrosis um after bbo and like nobody talks about it and it's common to get fat necrosis so it's like why aren't y'all like big influencers maybe they're not getting it or maybe they don't get it but why is nobody talking about it so i'm going to be the first one to talk about it this happens it is what it is um like i said before a bbo is a very traumatic surgery um it's very risky and shit like this happens so <sighs> i'm out of breath but yeah so that's what happened i'm gonna be fine um basically he said if um that was telling him like you know i didn't I, I didn't really come out how i wanted to look after surgery like i look very natural which is like everyone compliments me on that but like i wanted to look like i don't know like alexis sky like fucking you know but i'll never look like them like ever because i'm 411 I'm 118 pounds, like, I'll never look like them, you know, but, I don't know, but he was like, don't worry, after, during your third trimester, when you start gaining weight, your ass is gonna, like, explode, and your hips are gonna explode, so I'm gonna be waiting on that, for sure, I'm out of breath, <sighs> but, yeah, so, yeah, we'll see, I'm gonna see what I look like after I have this baby, and see if I'm happy, and if I'm not, I'm gonna see what I gotta do. But um, a lot of people are telling me not to go for round two. But I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's like I got the surgery because I was insecure. And I still feel insecure. So it's like, I don't know. It might just be a mental thing, you know. I don't know. But, yeah. So, basically, got those fixed. Um, I'm still kind of sore. I can't really sleep on that side. It should hurt. The next day and that night, I was in so much fucking pain. Um, but yeah, but it's fixed now. He aspirated it. All that liquid fat is gone. So, but yeah, um, and one more thing. I don't know what the fuck it is. Do I look fat on camera? No, let me not say fat. Do I look big on camera? Because it's been like four, five, six comments that I keep seeing of calling me a big girl. And I'm just like, what? Like my whole life. I was bullied and made fun of. Nobody liked me because I was so skinny. I was literally 80 pounds even after I had my son. So, like, I must look big on camera like this one bitch. I don't, I don't know why she thinks she could just... I don't know if she's trying to be funny or what the fuck. But she really tried, like, I don't know. She was like, I just saw the comment. She was like, how you got skinny BBL? How? You look like you got plenty extra weight. Bitch where where bitch i'm 118 pounds i'm 411 i i barely was able to get a bbl because my bmi was literally the minimum like i must look big on camera like i don't know it's just it's just the internet is just they just try to get in your head and now i keep asking my man like do i look fat like i must look big on camera because it it, it I don't know, it's just crazy because I look back at like when I was like super depressed in high school because I was 80 pounds. I could not put on any weight. Even after I had my son, like I went right back to probably like 85 pounds. So like y'all keep calling me big and I'm like, <sighs> now I'm going to get depressed because now I think I'm big. <laughs> but anyways y'all y'all always gonna have something to say y'all always gonna try to bring a bitch down what the fuck ever um y'all not getting to me but it's just like really i must look big on camera i must look big on camera <laughs> bitch where now i got a little you know but where where now I did make the mistake of not getting arm light though. So maybe, I've always hated my arms. I think it's my arms that makes me look like I'm a big girl. I don't know. But y'all got me fucked up. 
but anywho uh, let me stop talking shit um so yeah that's what happened it ended up being fat necrosis i got it um aspirated out with a needle and i'm fine now so yeah so that's it um i'm not sure what my next video is gonna be but stay tuned subscribe like and comment all that even if it's a rude comment you're still paying me you're still viewing me okay but yeah, so stay tuned for my next video and I will see y'all later.